All right, so I'm going to do a frame review video on this uh, seven inch quad. I did a post on my community page on the main channel uh, about five days ago. And then uh, someone, uh, one of the viewers told me that they saw this, I guess uh, for about 14 bucks. I actually uh, paid $19, a little over $19 for this one, uh, which I thought was a good deal. But apparently he was a first time AliExpress um, customer. So I guess if you were a uh, first time buyer, you get a, an additional discount, which is kind of interesting because um, he went ahead and he said he got the uh, frame plus, uh, I guess, a 30 by 30 stack for about $40 and uh, some 28 of seven motors for about $40 for a set of four, which is crazy. So I guess uh, basically for a whole quad without a um, FPV system, no video system, was about 100 bucks for a seven inch. So don't know don't know anything about the quality of this frame necessarily or the stack or the motors it's uh you know you don't never know unless you um actually try which is why i'm going to build this out and see how good this frame is or not i've heard reports or at least he told me that uh he saw this frame advertised or he's not advertised but someone someone else bought it for like 12 dollars and 53 cents maybe like two weeks ago, which is kind of, I don't know how they sell these things for so cheap, but apparently for him it was like $14 and 30 cents. So anyway, gonna just do a unboxing here, show you the frame, see, see what kind of quality it is. What what can you get for about 20 bucks? This, um, the, the listing that I found this under was, this was called the Tiger Beetle. So I don't know if this is a clone of uh, another design. It's a pretty standard looking like Dead Cat 7 inch. There's dozens of them out there. Looks kind of similar to a lot of them that are out there, but I don't think it's an exact copy of anything. You'll also find the same frame listed um, under the name Poisonous Bees, and it's possible it might be listed under a couple of their names. Those are the two that I found, at least well, just, I did kind of a quick cursory search. I just, there's so much stuff in AliExpress that it's really hard to know for sure. Uh, and I, I, I actually ordered this like five days ago and it came really quickly. So, uh, really strange or interesting that things are shipping over from China from AliExpress in five days now, which is typically, um, it's like 10 to 14 days usually, but this came super fast. So not sure what's up with shipping these days, but this came incredibly fast. All right. So got all the stuff out of here and... So got the arms, you got some hardware, pretty standard stuff here, a lot of M3 screws, and looks like you got some press fit nuts here, interesting, that's typically for something this low cost you don't see press fit nuts. Screws seem to be pretty standard basic quality, got some M3 standoffs, that looks pretty generic, not bad or great, but for the price tag, can you complain? And they do include some TPU parts. So you got the camera mount on the left and right side, and it looks like a GPS and a antenna mount for the back. You get a uh, battery strap, LAN RC Spark Hobby. Never heard of them. Not even sure if this is the company that makes this, but you never know. And then you get a battery pad, and it's one of those that's been laser cut here to match the frame. And here is the frame itself, here's the arms. This looks like a standard five millimeter frame and surprisingly pretty good cuts. You notice I don't see that much burring. There's a little bit there, tiny bit, but looks like it's been uh, cleaned up. So they spent the money to clean it up. I did notice that on the um, product page, the hole wasn't cut all the way through, but it is on, at least on this one here. It looks like all of them, the holes are cut all the way through for the, um, the, um, where the, this, the, the center of the motor is. It's like a standard mount for th those larger seven inch motors. Only two screw holes there to mount the arm. And then you have probably a center, uh, another screw here that this slots into. In the middle is probably where the flight stack goes. So you have to uh, take that flight stack screw out. But looking at all of these, one by one, typically you can have a sense of how good the carbon is just by looking at the arm. And it is, it's very strong. People are saying that 
this is going to be cardboard quality and I can tell you that it feels like regular arm that you would get from a, a, a nice frame for $100. So it's pretty strong. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to be flying it into a wall at 100 miles an hour. They can let uh, other people do that test. I just want to verify. Yeah, it's about a little under five millimeters. It's 4.88. 4.97, a little variation in the arm, so 4.79, 4.8, 4 so a little bit under 5 millimeters, and then here are the plates, so I'm not sure if this is the top or bottom plates, 2 millimeters, this looks like the top plate, 2 millimeters, it's a little thin on the plates here, Usually like two and a half or three millimeters, a little bit under two millimeters for this one. So this is looks like a staggered design. So this would be the top plate. And yeah, I think it's probably gonna be something like this. The arms go get sandwiched between uh, these two plates here. And not sure which side is the front or the back. I'll have to put it together and figure out, but you know pretty standard uh, frame setup here. So I'll go ahead and, and, and assemble it and then we'll come back and take a look at it again. All right, so putting this together was fairly straightforward. Uh, the plate that goes to the front here, you can see where the uh, TPU pieces here for the camera mount are, have these little notches in the front and it's a little bit longer than the one that goes on the back here. So if you're wondering which side is the front and the back, that's how you can tell and the front plate goes on the bottom and the back plate goes on the back side over here like this but this goes on top and sandwiches the arms the arms are pretty much the same length on the front side and the back side they're just slightly different angles so um, you have to kind of see which ones fit and so that they line up with the screw holes obviously if it's not uh, if you have the front and the back, it's not going to line up right and you won't be able to get all four arms on because they all uh, lock into place underneath here. You can see where they butt up against each other here in the side and then also on the front and the back. So it only goes on one way. Um, you'll figure it out. It's <laughs> it's pretty obvious. There's three sizes of screws, these um, little M3 screws here. So there are short ones that go on the top plate here and then on the bottom for the back standoffs and the front standoffs. The second small size or the medium size are going to go, there's four of them, they go into this hole for the arms, when the, the, uh, into this press fit nut here, and on this side over here. The longer screw goes into uh, these, these standoffs here, so the shorter standoffs are on this back side here. There's six of them and then two of the longer standoffs go in the front and then um, so they have the uh, third the smallest I guess uh, the smallest goes uh, I guess there's four of them at four sizes actually there's the smallest there's the second smallest which is this one third smallest which goes into the standoffs here and then the longest ones are pretty obvious they go into where the stack goes this is a 30 by 30 stack hole and that, that's also press fit nuts here as well uh, it looks like you have mounting holes for 20 by 20, 30 by 30, and then you could you have the also the whoop style 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter, obviously at an angle there, in the diamond formation. So this takes pretty much everything, and then in the back here, yeah, it looks like you've got uh, 20 by 20 and uh, whoop style 25 by 25. So they'll probably work for O3 and Vista, Walksnail, etc. And you have some mount holes here, 20 by 20 and 25 by 25 in the front here as well for maybe like for the split style cameras. The arms can be removed by just loosening up um, these screws here. They go into the standoff and that press fit nut and then the arm will slide out if you need, if you happen to rig one. And then for those of you asking about spare parts, I would recommend just buying another one. So if you can pick up one of these for like under 20 bucks, uh, if you need spare arms for whatever reason, if you're gonna be crashing it, just buy another one. Uh, it's like, you know, another 20 bucks to get a whole, you know, set out, basically a whole set of spares, you get top plate, everything, all the screws and everything will be included. So 
that's what I would say in terms of getting spare parts. And then um, the TPU prints are actually really good as well. Pretty surprised at the quality of everything here given the price uh, of this. You know, like I said, I paid $19 for this and some people paid quite a bit less as well. And, and all the screws and the hardware, everything in terms of the cuts, clean, everything fit together. I, I didn't have to force anything. Um, you know, the screws that go into these press finets are a little bit long. Some will say that's a good thing or a bad thing. They look like they're about a maybe about a millimeter longer than they need to be, but I guess longer is better than having it be too short. And then they obviously you can put I'm gonna put my 30 by 30 stack on here. I'm gonna probably put that solo good uh, stack that I got in the last um, product roundup video there for the stack. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the air unit. Probably gonna do like probably go back to the DJI V1 air unit or something like that and the uh, OG camera. I got a lot of those sitting around so do that and then this is the top plate. Top plate goes up here like this and then you use these shorter M3 screws over there and then the battery plate goes over here. I'm probably not going to use this one. Not sure yet. Haven't decided. But uh, let's go see how much everything weighs. Alright so this is the frame weight with all the screws and battery pad and battery strap and TP parts 187.6 grams for a seven inch frame. I'm not sure if that's on the light side or the heavy side. Kind of really hard to judge that. Um, I guess we'll have to see after the full build and I compare it to another seven inch build that I have. But yeah, I say overall, pretty impressed with the quality of this for the money. And again, I, you gotta, you know, you have to consider the cost. I've, uh, you know, I've seen some, you know, seven inch frames are in the $80 range-ish. Even some, some of them are quite a bit, even over $100. And yeah, they're, a little bit better quality than this. I mean, obviously the carbon might be higher quality than this one, etc. But this seems more than adequate for a seven inch cruiser. I don't think I'm gonna be racing this or doing freestyle with this. So if you're just looking for a cruiser, something like this should be fine for that. The quality of the carbon seems decent enough. You know, it's all about the money basically. And I, I know there's gonna be people screaming, you know, you shouldn't be supporting AliExpress or whatever. I'm like, I don't like to tell people what to do with their money. If you feel like this is good enough for you and uh, that's what you want to spend, then by all means, go for it. If you want to spend $100 on a frame and support your favorite pilots, then by all means, do that as well. It's, it's your money. Like I said, do what you want with it. But you know, I, I want to just, I don't, I don't feel like I should be prevented from making these videos and showing these just because some people think that, that uh, the cheap stuff shouldn't be shown in videos. So I think it's all, all about, you know, the value you get for the money and whether or not, you know, uh, this is worth it for you or not. Anyway, I will have uh, the build of this over on the main channel. I'm gonna put obviously motors and a stack and video system in this one. That'll appear on the main channel. So go over there and uh, get your notifications turned on if you want to see what this turns out to be. So that'll do it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.